Well, that's interesting. Do you ever put in a folder where there's supposed to be a homily and it's not? <laughs> well, today, as you and I gather to celebrate Corpus Christi, the feast of the body and blood of Christ, we hear today the sixth chapter of John, the Bread of Life Discourse, where Jesus says, I am the living bread come down from heaven. And he speaks of himself as true food and true, true drink. And yet, what so often happens is that it gets by us or at least it gets by some people. You might wonder what I mean by that. Well, there's a story told of a husband and wife who on a beautiful summer's evening finally had gotten all the hay cut and was put in the barn. And so they were sitting on the back porch. And as they were sitting on the back porch, all this, uh, the husband, of course, as you can do on a back porch in a rocking chair, decided to take a nap. But as he was napping, his wife was watching this beautiful sunset. And so at one point, she tried to rouse her husband. And she says, honey, wake up. Look at this beautiful sunset. It was one of those sunsets that even if you tried to take a picture of it. It just wouldn't do it justice. So he sort of opened his eyes for a minute and with a, sort, and with a snort he said, really? It's all the same. It's just a sunset. And he put his head down and went back to sleep. Well, you know, that can also happen with the Eucharist. We can come here Sunday after Sunday, even day after day, and sometimes we can take it for granted. We can take for granted that Christ is here. And yet, as we, tonight we gather, we gather not to celebrate the body of Christ on the cross or the body of Christ as he lived among us, or even the body of Christ that Paul speaks of in our second reading, which talks about our unity. The body and blood of Christ we speak of today is that which he gave us at the Last Supper. This is my body broken for you. This is my blood poured out for you. Do this in memory of me. What we celebrate this Lord's Day is Christ's real presence in the Eucharist. That under the form of bread and wine, Jesus Christ comes to us, really and truly. That's why we often speak of it as the Eucharistic species. Species meaning that it is something. It is a living, living matter, living being. And in this case, it is God himself. But even more than us admiring the Eucharistic species, what we're called is to enter into the Eucharistic process. And that's what caught my attention as I was praying over the scriptures and read one of the commentaries, it just didn't talk about the Eucharist itself, but it talked about the Eucharistic process. And what is that Eucharistic process? Literally, that just like Jesus Christ broke, laid down his life for us in charity and in service, that we are called to do the same. That, as we say in common parlance, you are what you eat. And in a very real way, we are being called to be the body of Christ, 
to be Christ to those to whom we meet. You know, at the end of life, we give what we call viaticum. And viaticum is, is a person's final communion. It's meant to help them on their journey to heaven. But you know, I often think that every time we come to this Lord's table, it's viaticum. Because what it's meant to do is help us be altar Christus, another Christ to those we meet. That's really what this feast of the most holy body and blood of our, of our Lord is all about. It's about Christ giving us of himself, sharing himself with us, so in turn you and I would do that with others. So sisters and brothers, as we prepare now to come to this holy table, let us see what we are and become what we see. Amen.